Santiago from MMA Islands. Today I'm joined by most dominant flyweight champion in LFA history, Spider-Man in the flesh, the flyweight boogeyman himself, Andrew G, Charles Johnson. Charles, how's it going today? It's going good, baby. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good, man. Just a matter of weeks until your next fight later this month, man. How are you feeling? How's the body holding up? I'm um, feeling excellent, feeling great. You know, it's Halloween now, so it's spooky season. And that's kind of how I'm feeling, man. I'm ready to go out here and, you know, put something on these boys and uh, just keep my, my my name in people's mind. And, uh, I, you know, it's that time of year, man. Holiday season, but it's it's spooky season right now, baby. Awesome, man. Awesome. Have you been binge watching a lot of Naruto? I mean, like from the top of your head, I would say yes, right? Uh, yeah, Naruto is always the, always the gem, man. Like, you can f put that on at any point in time. I haven't been watching too much Baruto, but, um, I got to get back into it. I, I got caught up in, uh, Game of Thrones and Rings of Power, which is cool. amazing. Um, those seasons, both of those just had their season finale. So, um, them shows had me caught up for a minute, but yeah. That... <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Yeah. Uh, House Dragon's awesome. Uh, you know, yeah. you're, you're booked against Zalgas, man. Uh, how satisfied were you of getting this matchup? Um, I'm just happy with any opponent. You know, it's it's hard to get matchups in the UFC at times. It's hard to be out there and just stay active. So I was just happy with getting an opponent. You know, I didn't care who it was. Um, I I was just like, you know, just give me anybody as soon as possible. So it's it's gonna be about three months since I last fought. By the time I fight, which is a little long for me. I like fighting every month, damn near. So. Um, the sooner I can get back in there, the better. And so I, I was just happy to be matched and, you know, get get an opportunity to redeem myself here really soon. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you look at his style compared to yours, man, I mean, like, how how does a stylistic matchup uh, look like in this fight? How do you see yourself beating him? Um, I just... I just got to be myself, man. I, I got a lot of tools in this fight. I feel like I have a, a, I'm like a Swiss army knife, man. I can take the fight wherever it needs to go, you know, and whatever I'm feeling that night is what I'm going to press. You know, if he, if he offers wrestling, I'm going to wrestle him. If he offers jujitsu, I'm going to submit him. And if he offers a stand up fight, I'm going to knock his ass out. And, and, and I say that as humbly as I can, you know, because um, this fight I'm coming to finish. I'm not coming to, play I'm not coming for anything because I could be cut after this fight as well you know the UFC isn't playing any games so I can't go in in there um it doesn't matter if I'm a champion walking into there they don't care they want you to go out there and finish people so that's what my mind's on getting the finish mm -hmm. and do you feel like with his with Salgas you know he hasn't had the best of luck in the UFC yet, but do you feel like if you beat him on November 19th do you think you're like the last nail in the coffin for his career in the UFC um, you know, I don't like to put a cap on anyone's um potential, you know, and I don't want I don't want to put that in the air because Zogas is a good Zuma's a good guy, man. I like him and his team. So I would hope that the UFC wouldn't cut him. You know, he's had a tough go with decisions and everything, but it would be kind of hard once you go one and five in the UFC. Um, I think we need to keep as many guys in the flyweight division as possible. It's a great division, you know, just keep activity within the range of all the fighters. So Hopefully they don't cut them. We don't have a big weight class anyway, um, mm -hmm. but I, I would understand if they did, but I don't even want to speak it into existence, man, because I want the best for them, regardless of how our fight goes. Uh, I just know I got to handle my business. Man, a great answer, man. Great answer. And, uh, you know, with the last fight being against Mokaya, man, in London, uh, what could you really take away from that experience? Like, what is the biggest lesson that you learned from that fight? I'll go out there and enjoy it a little. I'll go out there and just be in that moment. I was a little too zinned out. I wasn't really worried about anything to fight. So this fight, I just got to go back and just be myself, you know, just be myself. It, it, it's a great opportunity to be fight under the UFC banner, and I don't take that for granted. But um, I was just a little too, too calm that fight, you know. Go out there. I got to experience the UFC, which is something I have been training the last six years of my life to have the opportunity to do, 
you know? And so I was kind of taking the moment in. I get to go into this fight now with that experience, that ring time, and just like, man, just go balls out. Like I wanted to the first fight, but it was just given the opponent and the circumstance and everything, it was a tall order. I'm not going to say it wasn't, but I was never worried about the matchup skill set wise. I know when I show up, the best version of me, nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, I'm going to win that fight. So that wasn't the best version of me, but it was, uh, I was in great shape, you know, and I don't make any excuses for it. He fought well, he did what he needed to do, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this opportunity and it's going to be a lot more moving forward. Mm -hmm. And before that fight, man, I mean, you were a champion in the LFA. You went five rounds multiple times. Was it weird at all, like, going back to three rounds? Like, because you are a five-round fighter, you know? You've gone to finish in the fifth round before yeah. you go to distance all the time. So, like, yeah. was it weird at all going back to three rounds? The time went by fast, but it was more so the the fight and the fact that I was like I looked at the clock I'm like damn that went by fast but it wasn't because of the five rounds at all it was just more so like I said you know when you train for something and you work your ass off to get something and it happens and it's happening right in front of you I'm so like I think it was more so that than anything um I can fight three round fights my first fight back from the from from a two-year layoff everybody saw me fight Carly Carly and I like got him out of there in the second round. I started off fast, kept maintaining that pace. I, I could fight three rounds. I train at a high pace every round, you know? So it's not so much about a round thing, you know? It's a more so about just getting in there and getting myself into a fight sooner. You know, I was just, I had a little bit too much respect. I was trying to put off um, a great, uh, I was trying to be, do everything correctly in that fight. And, and and at the end of the day, it's a fight, man. You got to go out there and, you know, feel yourself a little bit, you know? And I didn't do enough of that, I feel like. So that's what I'm excited about doing moving into this fight. Just going out there, feeling myself, talking my shit, you know? And, and after the fight, it'll be respect as usual. But, like, going out there and getting back to just doing me, man, like, enjoying that. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember, remember last week that you kind of called for a five Cody Durden. I mean, not to look past Algas, but you, I believe you told me that you would take off Cody Durden's head off. Can you elaborate more on that fight? Like, and why do you want that fight? Man, I want anybody who want to get in there and scrap. But Durden's had uh, the 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 pleasure of uh, mentioning my name more than once on Twitter now, and so I'm just like, man, if you want the smoke, I'll get your ass out of there but I got to handle business first. So before I had this fight booked, um, right after my fight with Makayev, maybe about a couple of weeks after, um, I had put out a list of people just making a, a just a random tweet. I was like, you know, I would love to fight Ulanbekov or Tyra or um, Durden. Uh, who do you guys think would be a great matchup, you know, next for opponent? I would love to welcome any of them. That will be great matchups. And then he, he made a, a slick comment on that, you know, and then, uh, then he, then, uh, he had the opportunity to get matched and he chose to fight, uh, Clayson, uh, a, a Brazilian who can't make weight and pulled out of the fight. And so when that happened uh, about two weeks ago, he, he posted, oh, I'll fight anybody anywhere. And I was like, oh, your fight fell out. Oh, well, you should have asked for me. Cause I always show up to fight and I've never backed out of a fight and you would have had a fight, you know? So don't talk shit and then choose an easier opponent, and then they fall out, and now you got a, a short notice mix-up, right? So I would just, you know, I just I just reminded him. I, I retweeted what he sent me, and then, uh, and so now he's, like, heavy on the tip like he wants to fight me because he trains with Makayev. I'm sure he feels like he'll be able to wrestle me or something, but these guys don't realize they're not Muhammad. They don't wrestle as good as well as him, and what they do well, I do better, you know, and Muhammad did a good job at holding me. You know, but he didn't do any damage. He wasn't able to be any, any effective in positions very much at all. And I don't think they understand that it's levels, you know. And so I'm just excited for that opportunity. If he's going to – if he if he was ranked 15th at one point, I go out there and I'm 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 better than a 15th-ranked fighter. I'm, I'm pursuing being a champion. I'm not pursuing just to be on the roster and, and get a top 15. No, I'm pursuing being a champion. So if you want this championship level work, you're going to call me out. I'm going to, I'm going to let you know, let's get it. You know? So that's why 
I said, uh, after his fight, he just fought three rounds against Carlos Moda, a guy I fought in five rounds. But the thing is, Carlos came in on less than a week's notice, on a week's notice, and he wasn't preparing for a fight. And all you were able to do was take him down and hold him. And he got tired, but like you weren't able to do anything to a man who wasn't preparing for a fight. So what do you think you're going to do to me with the preparation for a fight? You know, so that's why I made the comment, like, I'm going to take his fucking head if he keeps asking for that fight. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha, man. And most important question of the interview, uh, when are the pre-orders for your merch going to uh, go online, man? Yeah, that those are going to be out in about a week or two. Um about a week actually because uh, I fight in three weeks so um yeah man I, I make my own merch I make my own uh shirts and everything so uh I, I came up with this little design I like it and, uh that's gonna be out shortly for for fans to pick up and uh you know just have some energy stuff you know like it's fun being able to have this platform to have people support you, you know, and I'm appreciative of everyone who sends me nice messages, who who wants to support me along the way. I, I just, I'm appreciative of everyone. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other like special projects in the works right now? Like any NFT things, any art, like uh, what do you have on the, on your plate for the rest of 2022? Uh, rest of 22 right now, man, we're just focused on this fight. Honestly, I haven't, um, dabble too much with the nft but i do play around with artwork i am doing graphic design and playing around with art at all times and just uh poking at different things so as as things get going i think halfway through 2023 i'll be able to release some more talk more about those things <laughs> and, awesome, and man, awesome. some light you know it's always it's always fun man uh being able to dabble in those things Sounds good, man. Sounds good. I think that's all the questions that I have for you. I just want to thank you again for the time. Uh, is there anything that you want to say to the fans out there watching? UFC fight night. I think it's, I don't know what number it is, but y'all tune in November 19th. It's going to be about noon on a Saturday. Y'all ain't going to be doing shit. So just pop in, enjoy the fights, you know, tell your mama and your mama's mama and, and, your, and your friends. All right. <laughs>